it's TMNT time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time slash figure from the arcade game, which is not correct because Slash was never in the arcade game. Slash was only in a Super Nintendo version, but I don't complain because obviously getting a Slash figure is amazing. The design is awesome and I've always been a fan of the of the evil version, you know, the evil turtle, the evil Batman, the evil this and that, whatever. So let's have a look. Okay, it took a while, but NECA finally shipped out the um, uh, TMNT figures to Europe. That's why I'm so late on it, but I mean, I'm just happy I got them. I'm happy that they're bringing them here. Uh, 14 and a half, well, more like 14 centimeters to the top of his head, which means he stands at. 5.5, 5.6 inches tall. Overall, look and well, you know what? Before I go into the look and detail, this would be more for the articulation, but I want to address that right away. If you're taking this guy out of the box, heat up the joints because the joints are ridiculously tight, so tight that I'm so scared to break anything off. Like at this point, I've already heated everything up. I tried to heat up the joints, I moved them a little bit around, and some are still problematic. But like the knee joint, this one I don't want. I don't even want to touch it anymore. It's like I try to push on it, but it's just like it doesn't really work, and it's already a little bit wobbly. I'm fearing it might break off. So yeah, um, that's not great. Anyway, look of the figure. Gun is it off with the face sculpt. It is very nicely done. Paint job on it. You have the pixelation on the back, which is the gimmick of the. Uh, the arcade line, or which is now called the uh, Turtles in Timeline, I guess. But that's fine. Uh, face sculpt, it looks good. And you have the shoulder pads, which I don't know if they meant to leave it unpainted in some parts. Well, I say unpainted. It is painted, but some parts are not covered up. And I don't know if they meant to do that or not. As a result, it looks okay. I don't hate it that some lines on there are a little bit more gray. It does stand out. Then you got the white on the spikes on the shell. Is good for the most part. Has some small slips here and there, which is all right. You have a nice, more pixelation on there, and the shell actually looks fantastic. Good look on it. Now for the rest of the paint, I'm just gonna make it very simple. If it's paint on soft plastic, it looks pretty horrible. As you can tell on the belt over here, it has some bleeding, and it does. That's still. Is it still okay? I don't know. It is white, so technically I could just paint it over myself, but I shouldn't have to do that. Same thing in the front. Uh, this is not cleanly done at all. It's just slapped all over it, so I don't, I don't know about that one. More pixelation in the front and the arms overall. That looks good. Like I'm saying, paint over here on these bikes. Those are actually very sharp, hard plastic, not soft, so be careful with that. They uh, paint their joints, so the purple already here is rubbing off. Why not just use a purple joint? I don't know. Maybe they don't have any. Weird stuff. As we move down to the legs, got a lot more pixelation. It's a little bit broken up by the dots of the joints, but that's all right, I guess. Can't really do much with that. Well, why not just paint that one over? That would probably not rub off so quickly. Same thing with the white on the spikes on his knee pads. Those are not cleanly painted. And then finally the feet, they look good, but just like with all the arcade turtles, they don't make any pixelation on the feet. And I get it, well if you rotate it around it doesn't look good, but it's just like, why? It stands out oh so weirdly, you have all this nice pixelation, and then on the feet, bam, stops, just drops that. So yeah, I mean overall, when I start a figure, also like aesthetically, I'm feeling, okay, and this is, you might be saying it's nitpicking, but I don't care. I'm, I have ridiculously high standards when it comes to TMNT and, uh, especially Turtles in Time, my favorite game. I think his neck is a little bit too long, because in the game, his neck is, his head is really resting on his head. And it does have a hinge, but I don't really get it as much as I want to. Also, I feel he could be a little bit more bulky. It seems like to me he has, like, almost the same body as the Turtles. And that's not correct. He's like a little bit more buff. But that's about it. So let's get to the articulation, the point I'm dreading the most. So the head is on a ball joint, rotates freely round, goes side to side, is very nice, forward and back. And then you have a hinge in the neck, which like I'm saying, 
I don't know if that one's frozen too, but I'm not really getting that much out of it. So, I don't know. Kinda has some spikes in the neck over here also. Nicely done, but yeah, anyway, um... The articulation in the head is good, but I don't know what's up with the neck. Then you have a big hinge in the shoulder. Move that one up. It's also painted, but it does rub off. You can bring it all the way around. The shoulder pads over here are soft plastic. Don't know if I mentioned that. Bicep swivel and simple hinge in the elbow. And I think you have these, uh, the shoulder pads and whatnot, shoulder knee pads are soft plastic and I think they're just on there. In some parts it's really getting into way a little bit but you know the, the, the plastic here is getting fairly small so it's not really an issue. Just wanted to mention that it's kinda iffy also actually rotates on there. Also almost forgot to mention that. Ball hinge, not a ball hinge, simple hinge actually goes up and down. Rotation. Now for the chest area there's like a mostly the crotch piece, which you can rotate around. I don't think there's anything else in there going on. But anyway, yeah, there's some stuff going on under there. As you can tell, you can bring that back and forth a little bit. Maybe for some sitting poses. Side sides and has some rotation in the entire crotch piece. It's pretty loose. It actually has a lot of rotation in the crotch piece. There you go. That's pretty cool. Then we have the legs rotate out. They are a little bit ratcheted, as you can tell over here, so it does help them stay in place better. Goes forward, shallow soft plastic, and then for rotation also got that. Now for the knees, I'm not touching this one, but I'm gonna try with this one. Have two hinges, one in the lower part, one in the upper part, there you go. That's pretty nice, good range. Doesn't really rotate around, I thought it did. And the feet. Go side to side, forward and back. I wish they had a little bit more side to side motion. Because I really want to get him into this hunched over pose that he has in the game. But it's kind of hard with stability. I mean, it does work, but yeah. Accessories! You got a grenade, which I don't really know why he has a grenade. I guess maybe because he explodes, but then again, every opponent explodes in turtles in time after you beat him. Yeah. It's a nice accessory, it's fine. And then you have his, uh, his blade, his crooked blade or whatever you call that. If it has a name, it looks like just a blade that's just shaped like lightning or something. It is a slash weapon, so I'm not complaining about it. it looks nice, has the white paint job on the front and not on the side. It actually looks a lot cleaner than other parts. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Has some nice size to it. And that's it though. No hands and nothing else. And it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts for this slash figure. And this is this is a I'm, I'm calling this one game of butts, not actual butts. But he looks pretty good. I like the design overall. I like the idea they executed it well. Pixelation is awesome, but he could be a little bit more bulky. Paint shop is good for the most part. Same with the uh, pixelation and whatnot. But the white parts in the soft plastic are. Very unclean, very sloppy, and any articulation is good, but I have to take points away for that knee joint that will not work. Yeah, this one. I tried it again. I, I've been at it for like the last half hour trying to get these joints to work, and that one just won't really bend. And the more I try, the more I, I feel like it's kind of loose. It's a little bit wiggly, which I'm thinking it's already a bit torn in there, and I don't want to tear it off, so I'm not going to touch it anymore. And that sucks. Alright, now what does that mean? Final thoughts of this figure, I still like this figure, but it has problems. I only get this one if you really like Slash, well, like I do, I like Slash, I like TMNT, I like the arcade game, I like this NES game, Turtles in Time, one of my all-time favorites. So overall, yes, this figure still looks good, this figure still gets the job done, but it could have been better paint-wise, articulation-wise, well, just don't loosen up your joints a little bit for crying out loud and also hands you could have had some hands I don't know pointy finger or like a fist hands and I know in the arcade game in the SNES game he doesn't point he doesn't do fists but still this is still an action figure could have had something like that but regardless of that yeah I I will recommend it but with with 
with more than a grain of salt, with an entire bag, like a small bag of salt, all right? Take that as you will. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure views, card game stuff, and whatever, slash ones, like clean up paint shop, knee joint that works, and maybe a couple of hands. Could be a little bit more bulky. That's about it. Was that too much? Sorry about it. Not sorry. <laughs>